Hey, what's up guys? I have another knife review for you today. And today's knife is an old timer. This is a new time old timer. What? Doesn't make any sense, does it? It does. Schrade is under Taylor Cutlery now. So there's new owners, new manufacturing. So this is a new, new style Schrade knife, okay? And particularly their old timer series. I've loved old timers. I think a lot of us out there, a lot of us older dudes, not that I'm an old dude at all, but uh, if you've been, in, put it this way, if you've been in the knife scene long enough, you'll remember Schrade being a big name. The Schrade old timer, when I was a kid, um, Basically, buck knives were great knives, Victorinox knives are great knives, Schrade knives are great knives. And it's funny because I just saw Noodles the Cat, <laughs> Kevin, he just did a video like two days ago or something on that very subject about when he was a kid, these were the, the knives, you know, these were knife brands to have. They were the biggest and the best. Yes, this is a new Schrade knife. This happens to be the 1140OT, uh, which is their safety grip trail boss. Interesting fixed blade, and I love this fixed blade. There are some things, uh, some hits against it, particularly just this sheath being such a cheap sheath. But you know what? It's a cheap knife. You're talking 20 bucks, $24 tops. Some Walmarts carry this knife, uh, but it is definitely an awesome design of a knife and a decent performer. For $20, it's a good cheap knife. And that's what I plan on doing is reviewing some good cheap knives. I've got some cheap knives that I will do reviews on that are not good, or or at least most of you know what they have to offer is not good. But uh, this this specific review happens to be on a uh, a good or better cheaper option. So if you're looking for a medium sized fixed blade, maybe for some camp chores, maybe just for some amateur bushcrafting stuff like that, this is a great option. So anyway, we get our box here, right? We get our normal <laughs> silicon gel pack. Silicone, whatever. Uh, let's see what our paperwork is. All right. Taylor brand knives. And let's see, a couple different languages here. Limited lifetime warranty. On the back, we have basically had an old, this is, I guess, a, a general uh, piece of paperwork that will go into most of their packaging. How to open and uh, close their folders, lockback design or liner lock, and some safety information. And as far as care to lubricating, stuff like that. So just general paperwork, not specific to this knife. So anyway, here's the knife. Here's what it looks like in its sheath, and that's where I'm gonna start, is the sheath. Okay. Sexy looking knife, I love it. All right, so the sheath is just very run of the mill, cheap Chinese sheaths. It functions, it works, it's the appropriate size sheath, at least. Sometimes you'll get them and they're not even close to what knife they're supposed to be or go to. So it is appropriate, it does work, it's functional. It does house the uh, the blade. Okay, let me get that piece out of the way. It does house it very nicely. Button snap works fine. There's enough uh, overhang here for to easily undo it. I did carry this on the belt a couple times. Um, one thing I can say, I'll, I'll go about, I'll talk a little bit more about the grip in a little bit, but it is extremely grippy when you're actually carrying this like you should be carrying it on the side using the belt loop. Uh, my shirt grabbed onto this thing and held on for its dear life. <laughs> so it is extremely grippy, but any kind of rubberized, um, you know, material for handles or for, for gun grips or whatever, you'll find that that will happen. So just something to consider as far as uh, carry. Uh, but yeah, the sheath is just... Just run in the mill, it works, it's nothing special. If this is a knife you do really like, you might want to invest in uh, another sheath for a dedicated sheath, perhaps maybe even, uh, I don't know about Kydex, just because of the fact that this is rubber and it's very pliable rather, uh, rubber rather, you can see. I'll talk about that more when I get into the knife, but anyway, yeah, the sheath works, it's just not my favorite sheath, but again, it's a 20 dollar knife, so it is what it is. But, uh, you know, just some details. You can see a drip here from the lacquering process. You know, but hey, it's a sheath. Uh, this style sheath, I've, I've had these before. I've had many cheap knives, too. And um, eventually the stitching does come apart. This one happens to be pretty good as far as cheap sheaths go. But it's a cheap sheath. So consider that. If this is something you want for a really long time. Um, all right, so here's the knife. This is what we're looking at here. Some specs on this. 
Blade is a 5.6 inch stainless steel blade, 7CR17. And I can tell you the performance on this has been just okay. On par with like uh, an AUS-8, I would say. Uh, edge retention was just so-so. Nothing to write home about. Um, factory edge was sharp enough to kind of roughly cut uh, clean, well, I should say cleanly. Roughly cut cleanly, that makes no sense. It would, cut, it would slice through uh, paper out of the box, but not as clean as I would like, put it that way. So you had a nice sharp edge, but it wasn't a razor edge like you might get with some other you know, higher end, more expensive knives. But again, to be expected, you're talking about a $20 knife here. Um, so with its factory edge, I did test this and about maybe 20 minutes into my testing, um, I had to resharpen it, it got completely dull on me. Okay, but that's 20 minutes of continuous use on some cardboard and a little bit of paper. So again, nothing really out of this world as far as performance. I do love the design of this blade. I've always been a fan of uh, Bowie shaped blades or Bowie shaped blades, especially very heavy clip points. I love an extreme curve on my clip point. It just, it's sexy looking. This one happens to have a double fuller, okay? So there's, it's actually on both sides of the blade. So I guess technically it's quadruple fuller. And you know, it's, it's just for lightning. For the, in this case, it just looks, it doesn't really lighten the blade much. 5.9 ounces on this, all right? So 5.6 inch blade, 10.4 um, inches overall and a 4.8 inch handle. So almost just under six ounces, it's a lightweight fixed blade. Okay, and that's due to the rubberized handle. And it is very, very rubberized, okay? Like you see, I can actually, you know, <laughs> move it around, it's, it's rubber. It's not just rubberized where it's mostly a polymer with a thin little thing of rubber. It's a thick, thick rubber handle. Now, initially this had me worried because, because it is so pliable and stuff like that, I thought that it would tear. Uh, with use, it would rip up easily. Um, if you bumped into things, it would, you know, like uh, if you use it in the woods, for example, and you know, you have it on your side and you bump into a stick, it, you, you would think it would cut into it. I had no personal problems with it, but I can say with long-term use, this handle will deteriorate like that. It won't be able to take the abuse that a polymer handle or a metal handle will, will take. But the flip side to that is this is extremely, extremely comfortable. Uh, the ergonomics are there. You have a nice palm swell here, okay? Slightly, um, you know, slight swell as well the other direction. A decent sized uh, finger choil. It's not super deep or anything. You do have some uh, some fins or texturing on both the front and the back, okay? So you're, you do feel that a little bit with your thumb, that texture. But overall, it just fits the hand very nicely. It fills the hand, all right, forward or reverse grip. And you can squeeze, you can bear down on this handle and it allows you to do so because you have so much give because it is such a rubbery rubber. Does that make sense, a rubbery rubber? Um, I've never had a knife that was this rubbery. Usually when you have a rubberized knife, it's somewhat of a little coating on the outside, but this is, like I said, it's just, it's just thick rubber. And I like it and I hate it at the same time. I hate that, put it this way, I love this knife. I hate that I know with heavy use, this handle will rip and tear and break. I hate that. But for $20, you have to look at it as a somewhat disposable knife. Now, I know that sounds horrible, but that's the truth. This will be a disposable knife. Not to say you're gonna use it two or three times to throw it away. You may have this knife for a year or two, but trust me, at some point, it's just the handle itself is not going to last. Now that's with heavy use. If you're tinkering around and you really maintain it well and you're careful, you shouldn't have a problem. You can have this for many years. But if you are one of those people that go out there and just really use their knives hard, this handle material, it definitely has its cons. But uh, initially, it feels great. It's such a cool feeling. I've, like I said, I've never had a, a fixed blade, honestly, that was this comfortable in the hand. Um, my experience with this knife is very good. It's been very good. But I have not had extensive time with this in the sheath, walking around the woods, like I said, rubbing and bumping into things. So I can't speak to how that's gonna be nor do I have the time to actually go do that specifically. But with its use, I can tell you it's performing fairly well. And for a $20 knife, it's performing much better than I expected it to. You know, I just have mixed views on this one. Um, I love the knife overall, I really do. Blade shape's great, um, relatively sharp out of the box, and considering the price, it's a definite consideration here. If this is a 60 or $70 knife, I'd still like it, but I would say no, don't, don't bother with it. But for $20, it's hard to beat. I mean, considering it's competition out there, 
It's a cool looking knife. It is functional. It's extremely comfortable. It's just, I'm so weary on, on the handle as far as long-term use. And you, I'm sure you can understand my concerns. It's just, it, it's just a, a soft material and susceptible to damage. But that being said, I mean, you can also throw in there, just be careful like anything else. Like there's a lot of things that's susceptible to damage, but if you're careful with it, it's not as much of a problem, right? So that's the caveat. Fantastic knife, highly recommended for 20 bucks, but keep in mind that you have to be careful of, of carrying this and exposing this softer material to the elements of the woods or other natural environments, okay? Particularly if you're gonna be walking through, you know, brush with uh, a lot of prickers or thorns, things like that, this is not gonna hold up for you. So just be warned, if that's the situation that you wanna take this knife into, I think you're gonna be disappointed. But there's a, a heck of a lot of other situations where you can get this knife, love this knife, use this knife, and have it for a long time. So I would still definitely recommend this, uh, particularly if you happen to find this at one of your, your Walmarts. I know a lot of guys, unfortunately, uh, either due to money or due to you know weariness of ordering online, you're stuck with, um, you know, only buying knives locally at different sporting stores and outdoor shops, things of that nature. So as far as Walmart knives go, this is definitely a good one. My particular Walmart did not have this one. This one um, I got from online. But uh, I do know for a fact that some of the Walmarts do carry this model. So if you're looking in that case, this is definitely a good one to get for 20 bucks. Can't go wrong. So also, I'm going to be reviewing this knife in the future. This is uh, Schrade's MA1. And this is basically the folding version of this knife. I'm not sure which model came out first, but you can see they're like two little brothers. On um, this one, also rubberized, not quite as extreme as this, um, but still extremely comfortable. But anyway, so you'll get a review on this in the future if you're interested, as well as some other uh, Schrade knives. So that's all. But this one is, again, the Trail Boss with the safety grip, um, and that's the model 1140 OT. So, very cool design though, and extremely, extremely comfortable. So that's it, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you soon. Take care.